Before humanity discovered fire, they lived roughly half of their lives in darkness, left with only the moon and the stars as their compass. Fast forward to today and light pollution is all around us. It's grown into like billboards and street lights and porch lights. We are so good at illuminating things. Over time, many of us have shied away from darkness, but campsite booking program Hip Camp wants you to celebrate it by using the dark skies map. It's a first of its kind tool that allows adventurers to find campsites across the country where the stars will shine the brightest. So what we've done is we've used data from the International Dark Sky Association, right? So they are out there mapping light pollution. And by mapping light pollution, you can understand where there's places where there's still darkness, right? Where that light pollution hasn't kind of seeped in yet. It's all about finding destinations destined for darkness, so you can have the best stargazing experience on your next outdoor adventure. So much magic in nature, and doesn't, it doesn't stop when the sun goes down. Post hopes inspiring Canadians to find a deeper appreciation for nature and its inhabitants will also inspire them to find new ways to reduce light pollution at home. It can be as simple as turning off a switch. You're looking out your window and you just see moths. And so these moths that maybe just you think of as a nuisance are actually dehydrated, distressed, and many of them are dying. You can really reduce the negative impact on those insects, which are so important for birds and so many other animals that rely on these insects for food. A two second effort, massive impacts for good on nature. By experiencing the starry sky and the Milky Way and the cosmos, I hope it just adds a rich layer to your, your fascination with the outside world and your connection to this planet we call home.